Hello everybody, welcome back, and I'm going to give a first impression review of this Nassar Organics Protein Potion. Um, as you can see in the last video, I was going to do a review, but I cut it out because I feel like I probably was cursing a little too much, and I wanted to give a nice review. So, for starters, the smell, it smells like mayonnaise. I looked up the... I tried to look up the ingredients and there's no ingredients on the website. So anybody who wants to try this out, beware. There are no ingredients on the website and there are barely ingredients on this jar. So be careful with that. If you have a dairy uh, allergy or something, I wouldn't use this. But, I mean, it reminds me of back in the day when people used to use do like the DIY protein treatments and they put the egg and the mayo and all of that in there. I mean, I've, I've heard from plenty of people that they say food-based products do not penetrate the hair like that. So I wouldn't use this as a protein treatment. I would continue using this as a pre-wash treatment. So I guess a pre-poo. But when I'm done with this, would I repurchase? I don't think so. I think when I'm when I run out of this, I'm done. And the reason why I say I'm done, not because of the ingredients. I feel like I played myself. I spent $30 on this thing. And it's literally just a jar of mayonnaise and honey and whatever the hell else she put in here. So, I mean, look, I've been trying to support Black-owned businesses all February. Like, I don't want to buy anything that's not Black-owned. So, I mean, I'm not mad at supporting a Black business, but at the same time... This is literally a $30 jar of mayonnaise. But, you know what? It's not the first time I've used food products before. I used to, back in the day, I used to pre-poo my hair with honey, which I think I'm going to start doing that again. It actually used to work back in the day. But I'm going to use this because I spent $30 on it, so I'm going to keep using this as a pre-poo. It's not bad. It definitely... I, I won't say too much negative stuff about it. I will say putting it on my hair, it definitely, it didn't make my hair feel soft and luxurious, but it was a nice pre-treatment, I guess, to soften up my hair for the wash. So I guess I won't say it's completely useless, but would I purchase this again for this price? Absolutely not. But look, A, it happens. So, I would say if you want to give it a try, I guess. If you, I guess if you, if you don't want to mix up the stuff yourself, give it a try. But beware, this jar is $30. So... I would probably wait for a sale. I would wait for a sale. But if you want to try this out, here's the the name. This is a black-owned business based in Atlanta, Georgia. And let me know if you like it. Now, I know it says in the back that I was supposed to use this along with the oil and the leave-in conditioner or whatever conditioner but that stuff was expensive too which is why i only bought this do you know how much money i would have spent i would have spent almost 75 dollars buying all products and then i would have been mad i'm already mad that i spent 30 dollars on a bar, on a jar of mayonnaise so i will say if you want to give it a try and see how it works for you like if you're one of those diy organic type naturals um, I don't, I, I, like I said, this is not a protein treatment for me. I will continue probably use this as a pre-treatment, like a pre-poo. And 
let me see if I can open it. I'll show you like after one use, as you, I don't know if you can see it. I don't want to spill it. As you can see, I didn't use that much. Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? There we go. As you can see, I didn't use that much. This really smells like mayonnaise. But yeah, as you can see, I didn't use that much. So this will definitely last me a long time. I've heard of people saying how after like the first use they had half a jar left. I don't know how the hell they did that. Maybe it's because my hair ain't that long yet. But I barely used this this little bit of the jaw so and I used it on my whole head so what I will say is that if I keep this refrigerated and keep switching out you know keeping my fridge up to date and everything this should last me a long time so $30 will not be going to waste who knows maybe I'll change my mind in the future like maybe after a couple of uses if I see a difference in my hair I'll come back and give you an update but for the first impression, no. It's a $30 jar of mayonnaise. I'm going to keep saying that. So if you've tried this product and you've had it for a while, let me know how it worked in your hair. Let me know if you liked it, if you didn't like it. And, you know, if you want to hear an update, let me know. Like, I'll continue to try. I'll keep trying to use this. I'll probably use this maybe like once a month because, you know, I don't want to keep putting protein in my hair, even though they say food grade protein don't penetrate. It's still got some kind of protein in it. So I don't want to like jack up my hair, putting this in my hair every week. So I'll probably do this maybe either once a month or twice a month. I definitely won't be doing this every week, probably once or twice a month. We'll see. It depends on how I feel. But, yeah. So, this is my first impression review of this. And let me know what you guys think in the comments. And we'll see you in the next video.